Welcome back, Spirit Family. For those who are new, this is Spiritual Findings with a Gypsy Soul. I am your Gypsy, Vera Lynn, and today we're going to be doing a general reading for my Scorpios for July 2019. Now, when I say general reading, this is going to cover your love, your career, your soul story, what's going on for July. I hope you guys like my setup here. I am currently off grid, no electricity, no cell phone service, no running water besides a lovely mountain stream here guys. I am loving it. I have my shoes off, I am grounding. You can hear the birds in the background, you can hear the mountain breeze, it's just so nice. I highly recommend that you guys take a little bit of time this summer to, you know, go to the beach or the lake, go to for a hike. I know you guys are my water signs, so why don't you get out to a lovely body of water and just meditate, even if it's just a little stream, okay guys? All right. July. <laughs> we have a lot that's going on regarding the planets and the signs and the moon and the sun. We have two eclipses. Yes. So on July 2nd, we have a solar eclipse in Cancer. With this being a solar eclipse in Cancer, I feel like you guys are going to be a little bit more focused on your family at this time. Maybe reevaluate what you do with your family, spend a little bit more time, rekindle. You know, with everybody in the States, 4th of July is right around the corner, so that was a butterfly or a moth that just flew by. A butterfly, it looked like. So that's your spirit animal. But with 4th of July being around the corner, maybe get yourself out to that family barbecue, guys. Okay, don't be a shut in. On July 16th, we have a lunar eclipse in Capricorn, okay? The lunar eclipse, that's more of our inner emotions, our inner, be inner beliefs, and with it being in Capricorn, probably going to reevaluate your responsibilities and your priorities this month, which is a good thing, okay? Now, not only do we have those two eclipses we also have a retrograde on july 7th there's a retrograde in mercury mercury turns retrograde in leo guys but that clears up on july 31st when mercury turns direct but also the, the same day there is a new moon in leo there's also a few other things going on <laughs> for july but i would be here all day i feel like if i had to go over it so if you guys have any questions about what i just went over comment below okay i feel i i, I love getting getting in touch with you guys i'm quick to reply all right so i'm going to be pulling from the rider weight here and I also have the fairies or the fairies or the angel card. So I'm going to be pulling one of those after I'm done this reading here. I did want to talk about that I had a healer's box, a free healer's box that I have up for grabs. You guys can find out the rules at the end of this video before I pull from the fairies. I'll go over the rules, but it is a nice box. All you have to do is subscribe, share, um, you know, hit that notification bell, comment with your name, and I'll put your name in a hat. And on July 31st at 9 p.m. Eastern time, I will be pulling a name from a card. The box has a whole bunch of stuff in it. It has like a salt lamp, incense, sage, your own tarot deck. It actually has this deck here that I'm holding, um, the original weight. And it's just, it's a really nice deck. Unfortunately, because it is so big and it weighs so much, I can only ship it to my U.S. subscribers. Um, you know, so find out more about that. I'll be saying a little bit more for um, before I do the fairies here. Wow, the wind really picked up, guys. Whew, some stuff's falling on me, some debris. But yeah, so I'll be talking a little bit more about that in a little bit. Making sure there's no dead branches over me. <laughs> But yeah, I only have about 10 people on that list for that um, healer's box, guys. So jump on it while you can, all right? All right, my Scorpios. You guys will probably really like... I have a really cute, short, just love reading already posted for July for you guys. It's like two minutes long. I did it by the river. It's really cute. All right, so I am seeing we have the Seven of Pentacles here. So you have put in your work, Scorpio. Now you just have to wait, you know, for the outcome, okay? Um, whether it's career, relationship, you know, putting in your resumes, uh, waiting for things to really come through with your relationship. Perhaps some of you guys are even in a court process. 
kind of waiting for things to kind of come through. All right, so yeah, I guess I'm seeing for some of you, obviously not all of you, these readings can be a little vague, maybe a child custody battle kind of going on, okay? For not, if that's not regarding some of you guys, I feel with the Six of Cups coming into play, you guys are going to have to jump into the community side of things, get a little more spiritual, get involved with your local holistic store or, you know, local holistic uh, festivals. Maybe, you know, if you're really big into going into church, go back and see your church family again, whatever it might be, get into the community side. For those who are trying to conceive, this might be the time, okay? Because you obviously see two young children in here, so this card does represent conceiving or young children coming into your life. Obviously, that's not in play for everybody. That's why I interpreted it a couple different ways. The Magician. You have the Magician card, guys, okay? So your talents are really coming into play. You're gathering all of your experiences and you're going to use them to manifest your goals. All right, you can see the infinity sign over his head. The knowledge is forever, never ending, okay? You can see that he has a pentacle, a cup, a sword, a wand right there on the table. So he has all the knowledge and he is very well rounded. That is kind of where you are either at right now, Scorpio, or getting to, okay? So congratulations, because that is a very big step. I love when this card comes into people's reading because I feel that they already have what they need to conquer this issue or to manifest their goal. They just have to put it into play. All right. So I just kind of need to spark the fire underneath their butt to let them know, hey, you got it. Go get it. Go chase after it. You're the only one that's really holding you back. You got the power. I got the power. All right. So we have the nine of nine of wands here. I was going to say pentacles. But we have the nine of wands. Okay, so this is showing me your job well done. Okay, you're going to need, obviously, a little bit of resting afterwards. You can see the bandage on his head. He's not completely unscathed, but he has built himself a wall around him, you know, successfully protecting him from whatever was draining him, you know, an energy vampire, or it could have been a toxic relationship, a dead-end job. He has kind of got himself away from it, okay? You can see that he kind of has that look of face, like he's looking behind him. The problem is behind him, okay, Scorpio? So you just kind of got to wait, wait for things to manifest, all right? Use your experiences and you will see the end, okay? You will see the end. The beautiful utopia that you were manifesting, Scorpio, is on its way, all right? All right, so I'm going to pull from the fairies card because we are out in the mountains, okay? Fairies represent earth. We're very, you know, I am in Mother Nature. My, I feel like my intuition is just so much better out here. I love grounding. It feels great on my feet. I'm literally like my feet are on the softest little moss here. It's so gorgeous. I love it. So guys, get out there. You know, go buy a go buy some water. You know, grab a book. Go by your local creek where you can hear the water trickle. You guys are a water sign. It's very important. Go to the beach for a day. Whatever it is, it doesn't have to cost you a million dollars. Just get by a body of water and recharge. All right, my Scorpios, that's your prescription. I'm writing you. You have to take a couple hour. You know, preferably a day or trip too by the water. Okay. <laughs> Maybe it's the healer's box that you need. So. Like I said, guys, I only have a couple people on the list for the for the um, the healer's box. All you have to do is subscribe, share, hit the notification bell, and comment below that you have done that. So I can put your name on a little piece of paper, put it in a hat, and July 31st at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, I will be drawing a name. If you don't end up getting the healer's box, I'll be doing free readings up until I do the drawing. Okay, guys, and if you can't make it 31st, I do a lot of live streams. It's a really awesome community. You know, it's fun. It's educational. I do live readings from time to time, so you can go ahead and get yourself a free reading. Just you have to hit that notification bell because it is first come, first serve for the free readings. Sorry, I'm kind of, um, I mean, I am in the mountains, guys. Literally where I am right now, there was um, about a four <laughs> to five hundred pound black bear 
one of the biggest black bears I've ever seen came up. It was right here last night, pretty much where the table is, and there was a younger one that was about 300 pounds. So it might have been a squirrel that was just making some some noise back there, but sorry. Whew, where was I? <laughs> Maybe since I'm mentioning bear, Scorpio, that is your spirit animal. I know when I do these off-grid readings, um, I think it was Libra um, or Virgo. It might have been Virgo that a mouse ran across the background. Uh, I had crows make an appearance, woodpeckers, butterflies. I had a bee fly up to the camera for one. So I like to note that I really like to use Mother Nature's divination tools, guys. It really it's one of the most satisfying thing like spirit animals as you can see here i have the spirit animal deck so you guys can ask me any questions about spirit animals if you get yourself a free reading or want to book a private reading you guys can always request what type of deck i use i am not obliged to that all right so now that i know that there's no bear around me <laughs> just a loud squirrel but yeah it was really amazing to see those bears very big, very beautiful, very clumsy in the woods. They made a lot of noise. All right, yeah, I'm flipping those upside down. All right, my Scorpios, my Scorpios. Yeah, Scorpios, I wanted to do your readings right by the stream down there, but since we just had the sightings of the bears, um, I figured um, probably not down there because they like to take breaks down there and drink some water so figured I'd do it up more more towards home base <laughs> all right this is what I'm feeling travel <laughs> an upcoming travel proves to be life-changing in positive ways I love at the end of a reading, always pulling one from the fairies or one from the angels because it really is kind of, um, uh, you know, hey, what I was saying in the reading, take that little trip by the body of water. You really need it, Scorpio. You really need that little trip. It doesn't have to be a million dollars, you know, even pack some sandwiches or whatever so you don't have to buy food, make it expensive, however you want to do it, but it's needed, Scorpio, okay? It's needed. Look how beautiful this card is. So beautiful. All right, all right, guys. So I really hope to see you for some live streams. You know, get yourself a free reading as well as the healer's box. All you have to do is subscribe. More importantly, share, guys, because I have a man. I'm manifesting my goal of a minimum of eight thousand subscribers by my birthday, August thirty first. <laughs> okay, so you gotta help me with that because I'm a dinosaur here. I only have a Facebook. You can find the Facebook or Facebook link below. Okay, it's a really fun community. You know, maybe I'll give you the heads up on when I'm live streaming, some information, when I post, things like that. Some inspirational things. But I don't do the Twitter. I don't do the Instagram, the WhatsApp, nothing like that. So I need your help to kind of share things out. So that's what the Healer's Basket's for as well as I love connecting with you guys. It's really fun. When I did them last year, I got in touch um, with some subscribers on a more personal level to where it really just everything just feels like a family here and I love it Okay, that was the goal of this channel is to make this feel like a family Okay, reach out some help and some education all over the world. That's what you know, YouTube is really great for it, you know, gives Creators a chance to just reach out more information to reach out. I'm trying to change the, the vibe of this universe guys and I need your help Okay all right, spirit family. <laughs> I'm going to zoom in up on the cards then, but I hope you guys have a wonderful July. Make sure to take some time for yourself, okay? And realize that you have gained more experiences in the past couple years, past couple months, you know, than most people have. And you have the opportunity to actually use them, to put them at play, okay? So don't waste that opportunity, okay, Scorpio? All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. This is Spiritual Findings with the Gypsy Soul. I am your gypsy, Vera Lynn. You guys have a wonderful July.